Okay, fifth graders. Gosh, we're wrapping up chapter one here. We're to 1-6. We have 1-6, 1-7, and then some review. And then we're all done with chapter one. So it's 1-6, uh, pages 26, 27, and 28. It's all about rounding decimals, which is actually a pretty easy lesson. And uh, we'll, we'll uh, touch on that here in just a moment here. But I wanted to go back over again really quick the less than and the greater than symbols. And I'd shown you this picture in a previous video because I had mixed it up in uh, the 1-5 lesson. Uh, feel kind of silly, but uh, you know, I guess I'm getting old. But here's, uh, here's what I wanted to point out to you guys that might help you remember. Um, it's always pointing to the smaller number. Always pointing to the smaller number. Let me show you what I mean. So if I wrote down two numbers, how about 3 and 57? 3 is less than 57. This is the symbol that we would use, less than 57. How about, um, oh, uh, 45 something 60. 45 is less than 60. Notice it's always pointing to the smaller number. Well, um, how about uh, how about if I did it this way? How about uh, if I just reverse these? How about if I put 57 over here and 3? So we would write 57 is greater than 3. And again, you can see it's pointing to the smaller number, and we're using the greater than symbol. So uh, that, I think, will help you guys remember what I couldn't. <laughs> that it's always pointing to the smaller number. Just remember that, okay? All right, um, so let's jump into this lesson here and back to layer one. So again, pages 26, 27, and 28. Let's take a look at what we got here. So uh, rounding, how can you round decimals? And it says here, uh, rounding replaces one number with another number that tells you about how many or about how much. And uh, it'll tell you to round to the nearest tenth or hundredth or thousandths, okay? And so, um, step one here, it says, find the rounding place. Look at the digit uh, to the right of the rounding place. So, if I had some numbers here, and I'm just going to put some X's, X's here, and I add a decimal there and some X's, okay? It doesn't matter what numbers these are. Um, it's going to tell you what place to round to. So you guys should know by now, this is the tenths place, this is the hundredths place, and this is the thousandths place. It has that THS ending. If you don't have that memorized, you're going to need to do that. All right. So let's say uh, they want you to round to the um, tenths place. Okay, so that would be that would be right here to the tenth place. So whatever place you're rounding to, you look immediately at the number to its right. We're looking at that number, the number just to its right. If we were rounding, um, let's say to uh, the tens right here, we'd look immediately at the number to its right. So it doesn't matter if it's a decimal or a whole number. If we're rounding to this number right here, then we look at the number to the right. And here's what you want to remember. This is important. I'm putting three red stars. If the number, this is the number that we're looking at, the number just to the right, is five or greater you round up let me show you what I mean here so let me write down a number here uh, 20 
whoops, um, let's say 23.715. Um, and we are going to the round, round to the tenths place. What number do I look at? I look at the number immediately to the right, and it's a one. Is that a five or greater? No, it's not. So it stays the same. So what I mean by that is that the seven doesn't change. And so since we're rounding to the seven, when we rewrite this, we would just write 23.7. We're not worried about the rest of those. We're just rounding to the tenths place. Let me give you another example. Okay, remember when you round, you're just rounding. You're going to round. Uh, look at the number directly to the right of the number that you're rounding to, and if it's five or greater, then you would round it up. Here's another number. Um, how about um, 17.365? Okay, we're rounding, again, we're going to round to the tenths, T-E-N-T-E-N-T-H-S, -E -E tenths, that T-H-S ending. We're going to round to the tenths place. What number do we look at? We look at the number directly to the right of it. Is that a five or, or larger? Yes, it is. So this becomes 17.4. We round up. And we don't worry about the 6.5 because we're just rounding to the tenths place. Let me give you another one. And you guys can pause these videos uh, when I give you these examples and try them yourself and see if you get it right here. How about 427.399? Um, and we will round to the tenths place again. Doesn't matter what, I'm just happy to be picking the tenths place every time here. What number do we, do we look at? We look at the number immediately to the right. Is that a five or larger? Yes, it is. So we would round this number to the tenths by writing this. Uh, 427 point what? Point four. We add one. We round up. We add one to that number. Um, let's see here. Let me do one more and then we'll uh, jump into the actual lesson here and I can help you guys with some of those problems. Okay. Um, how about um, 2.529? And again, I'll just stick with the tenths place. We're rounding to the tenths place. What number do I look at to determine if I leave the five the same or change it to a six. I look at the number immediately to its right. That's the two. Is the two a five or larger? No, it's not. So I would just simply write 2.5. I'm not gonna worry about the two nine because I'm rounding to the five. So that's how you round decimals. So let's look at the actual lesson here and they, they gave us a, a nice example here. Um, it says, uh, find the, I'm looking at step one here, find the rounding place. Okay, so we're rounding to that three. That's the tenths place. And it says, look at the digit to the right of the rounding place. And so they've got the six. They've got the six highlighted, or actually in red. That's a five or larger. So this would become 2.4. Okay, and that's what they have here. Then down below on the please convince me, they have another good example. It says, Carrie said that 448 rounds to 500 because 448 rounds to 450 and 450 rounds to 500. Is she correct? Well, first off, they don't tell us what we're rounding to. So, um, but what I can say is that it looks like they're having us round to the hundredths place. To the hundred eight just hundredths not there's no decimals in this so we're rounding to either 400 or 500 all right well so no she's not correct the answer is no she's not correct um, use the number line in your explanation 
simply put look and see where it is 448 is that closer to 400 or is it closer to 500 because 450 is right here in the middle um 448 is closer to 400 all right okay um another example here Round 3.2 to the nearest whole number. When they say the nearest whole number, that means the number without a decimal. So that would be the 3 right here. And so 3.2. So look, so we're either rounding to a 3 or we're rounding to a 4. One of those two. So you could write 3 on a number line, 4 on a number line, and then see where 3.2 is. Well, halfway is 3.5, right? So 3.2, what's that closer to? It's closer to 3. So it's going to round, 3.2 rounds to 3. Okay, guided practice. Let's do a couple of these together, then I'm going to cut you guys loose here. To round 74.58 to the nearest tenth, which digit do you look at? Well, first off, we're rounding the nearest tenth. Okay, um, so that's going to be right here. So... Um, uh, what is 74.58? So what digit do we look at? We look at, well, I'm assuming they're talking about the 5, and then we're going to look at the digit immediately to the right, which is the 8. And 8 is 5 or larger, so it's going to round to 74.6. Um, that would be the correct answer. So the first answer is what digit do we look at? It's 5. And what... Um, what is it round to 74.6 okay um, they may have been asking when they said what digit did we look at they weren't specific enough they may have been thinking what digit did we look at to decide what the five becomes I'm not really sure uh, but either way Okay, uh, number two, a car rental service charges customers for the number of miles they travel rounded to the nearest whole mile. That means a number without a decimal. George travels 40.8 miles. How many miles will he be charged? So the nearest, we're going to go to the ones place. The nearest um, whole number. How many miles will he be charged? He's going to be charged for... 41 miles because the 8 is a 5 or larger. The 8 is a 5 or larger. Okay. 3 through 10. Uh, round each number to the nearest place of the underlying digit. So um, Let's look at number nine. Number nine here. I'm going to write that over here so it's a little bit bigger. It's 80,547.645. What number are we rounding to? Well, it looks like they've underlined the four. So that's not the tenths place. That's the hundredths place. So that's what we're rounding to. So what do we do? We look at the number immediately to the right, which is a 5. Is that a 5 or larger? Yes, it is. So what would this round to? 80,547.6. What are we rounding to? We're rounding to where the 4 is. That's the hundredths place. Since, it's, it's a, since it is a 5 or larger, we would add 1 to the 4, and it becomes 5. And so that's your answer for number 9. Okay, let's see here. Um, I'm looking at uh, round each number to the place of the underlying digit, round each decimal to the nearest whole number. Okay, so let's look at uh, let's look at number 14 here, nearest whole number. So what's the nearest whole number? That's going to be the five. So what number do we look at if that's the number we're rounding to? Well, we look at the number immediately to its right, which is the 3. Is the 3 a 5 or larger? No. 
So if we're rounding to where the 5 is, we would just write 215. And that would be it. Wouldn't even worry about the decimal. Okay, because we're rounding to the nearest whole number. 15 through 18, it says again, round to the nearest underlying digit. This is very much like what we just did up here. 3 through 10. You guys can do those. And um, problem solving. Let's look at a couple of these together here. Um, it says to the nearest hundred, what is the greatest whole number that rounds to 2,500 and the least whole number? So um, we're not dealing with decimals. 2,500, 2,549. That's the greatest whole number that rounds to 2,500, to the nearest 100. Because the 9 is a 5 or larger, and then the 4 would become a 5 or larger, and then it would be to 2,500, if that makes sense to you guys. And then uh, the least whole number, 2,450. Because again, think about it, we're, we're, we're rounding to the nearest hundreds place, hundred, okay? So that would be this number here and this number here. And so what number would we look at? We'd look at the five. Is it a five or larger? Yes, so it becomes 2,500. Um, let me do one more. Let's see here. How about uh, number 22? It says, draw all the lines of symmetry in the figure below lines of symmetry so let me show you that and actually maybe when we do this lesson I'll explain it because I'm just about out of time here there you go it's done for you lines of symmetry draw all the lines of symmetry in the figures figure below and I'll explain that um, and this would be Tuesday no, Monday's lesson, I think. Okay. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I think I'm about out of time. So I'm going to stop here. And, uh, and if you guys need help with these, there's always the office hours.